Hello everyone, welcome back again. So today, today in this session we will start our next chapter, chapter number 6 and that is the triangle and its properties. Okay, so students as you know that it is already mentioned here that this chapter is related to triangle and its properties. So let's start from the first one that is triangle. So what is the meaning of triangle? A polygon. Okay. A polygon which has three sides. One, two and three. Okay. A polygon which has three sides that's called triangle. So here triangle means three and angles. Okay. So in triangle basically we have three sides and three angles. So here is your angle number one. 2 and 3. So that is a triangle. In triangle we have 3 sides, 3 angles. So number of sides is equals to 3. Okay. And number of angles is also equals to 3. Okay. And number of vertices that is also 3. Okay. That is your first vertex. Second and third. So in a triangle we have three sides, three angles and three vertices. So that is your triangle, a polygon, a closed figure which made by three line segments that is your triangle. In triangle we have three sides, three angles and three vertices. Now students our next topic is medium and altitude. So these two concepts look similar to each other but there is lots of difference in these two concepts. So let's check how these two concepts are different to each other. So let's start from the first one, medium. Okay. So suppose you have a triangle A, B, C. So here we have three vertices A, B, C. Clear? So in medium, a line passes through one vertex. Suppose this one is A and divide the opposite side into two equal parts. So suppose one line is passed through vertex A and divided BC into two equal parts that is BD and DC. Okay. Medium mein kya hota hai? Aapke jo triangle hai, usme ek vertex se aapke line passes pass hote hue opposite side ko two equal parts se divide karte hai. So medium means there is one line which passes through one vertex and divided opposite side into two equal parts. Okay. Medium mein aapke jo line hoongi vertex se hote hue opposite side ko two equal parts se divide karte hai. So here it divided the side BC into two equal parts and that is BD and DC. Clear? BD is equals to DC. Clear? So that is your medium. Now come to the next point and that is altitude. Okay. So in altitude, in triangle, in triangle, say one line is passes through a vertex, but it perpendicular to opposite side. Clear? Ye kya karegi? Opposite side pe 90 degree triangle form karegi. So what is the difference between medium and altitude? In medium, line is passes through one vertex and divided another side into two equal parts. But in altitude, the line is passes through one vertex and but perpendicular to opposite side. Clear? So difference is that one is divided opposite side into two equal parts and another one is perpendicular to opposite side. You can understand the how to one example also and that is suppose you have a triangle like that. Clear? So I am drawing this triangle two times. Clear? So if I want to draw a medium, so I will draw like that. That is medium which is passes through this vertex and divided the opposite side into two equal parts. Clear? So that that is A, B, C, this one D. So here the B D is equals to D C. That is your medium. Okay. But if I am talking about the altitude, so your altitude is like that. Clear? So that is 9 degree. It passes through this vertex and perpendicular to the opposite side. Clear? So first, you figure to the figure. First figure, you have to Line, which is medium, have opposite side, two 
पार्ट्स में डिवाइडेड है टू इक्वल पार्ट्स में ऐसे आपकी जो एल्टीट्यूड है वो भी अनदर साइड को टू पार्ट्स में डिवाइड करना क्योंकि पार्ट्स इक्वल नहीं है दिस वन इज शॉर्टर एंड दिस वन इज लॉन्गर क्लियर बट दिस एल्टीट्यूड इज परपेंडिकुलर टू अनदर साइड आपकी जो ये एल्टीट्यूड है ये दूसरी साइड पे अपोजिट साइड पे 90 डिग्री के एंगल फॉर्म कर रहे हैं सो इन मीडियल इन एल्टीट्यूड देयर इज ओनली वन डिफरेंस फर्स्ट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड द अनदर वन इज परपेंडिकुलर टू अपोजिट साइड फर्स्ट वन इज डिवाइडेड अपोजिट साइड इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स आपका जो मीडियल है वो अपोजिट साइड को टू इक्वल पार्ट्स में डिवाइड करता है बट इन एल्टीट्यूड द लाइन इज परपेंडिकुलर टू अपोजिट साइड इसमें 90 डिग्री के एंगल फॉर्म करती है वो अपोजिट साइड को इक्वल पार्ट्स में डिवाइड नहीं करती स्टूडेंट्स आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द एक्सटीरियर एंगल्स ऑफ ट्रायंगल एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो फर्स्ट जस्ट डिस्कस What is the meaning of exterior angle? So here you have a triangle, and that is P Q R. Okay. So here, so that is your triangle P Q R, and here this is your angle Q P and R. So suppose this one is angle one, that is angle two, and this one is angle three. So what is your exterior angle? For exterior angle, just extend. One line or side, okay? अब कोई से भी एक side को extend कर दीजिए. So that is your exterior angle. Clear? You can extend it like that also, like that. If you extend this line, so that is your exterior angle. If you want to extend your line, this one. This third line. If you want to extend the third line, that is your exterior. Clear? Okay? So in this figure, this one, that is your exterior angle. Suppose the line is four, angle four. So now I hope you all are able to understand what is the meaning of exterior angle. For exterior angle, just extend one side and form an angle, and that is your exterior angle. So, according to the exterior angle property, exterior angle where your exterior angle is angle four, where exterior angle is equals to sum of opposing interior angle. So here, that is your angle four, that is your exterior angle. What is your opposing interior angles? Angle two and angle one. Angle four, this side form हो रहा है, इसकी जो opposite side है वो है PQ. Clear? And PQ में दो angle form हो रहे हैं, that is angle one and angle two, angle one and angle two. So angle four is equals to angle one and angle two. So I'm of angle one and angle two. For this figure, that is your angle one, that is your angle two, three and four. Clear? For this figure, the value of angle four is equals to. So the opposite side of angle four is this one. Clear? So opposite angles are angle one and angle three. So opposite angle. So opposite interior angles are angle one and angle three. So for this figure, the value of angle four is equal to angle one plus angle three. Clear? In this figure, that is your angle one, two, three, and four. So angle four is equal to sum of opposite interior angles. एंगल फोर के अपोजिट साइड है आपकी दिस वन एंगल फोर के अपोजिट साइड आपकी ये है इसमें दो एंगल फॉर्म हो रहे हैं एंगल टू एंड एंगल थ्री सो एंगल फोर इज इक्वल टू एंगल टू प्लस एंगल थ्री क्लियर सो एक्सटीरियर एंगल आप किसी भी एक साइड को अगर एक्सटेंड करते हैं किसी भी एक साइड को अगर आप एक्सटेंड करते हैं किसी भी डायरेक्शन में अगर आप इसको कोई भी जगह नीचे एक्सटेंड करना चाहते हैं आप इसको नीचे भी कर सकते हैं फिर जो एंगल फॉर्म होता है दैट इज योर एक्सटीरियर एंगल And what is the exterior angle property? That is, the value of exterior angle is equals to the sum of opposite interior angles. What is that? The value of exterior angle is equals to the sum of opposite interior angles. Clear? So, for this figure, the opposite angles are angle one and angle two. For this exterior angle, the opposite angles are angle one and angle three. For this one, that was the angles on angle two and angle three. So now we will do some questions which are based on exterior angle property. So here you have one triangle ABC, and here you have one exterior angle that is angle X. So what is the value of angle X? Which side? Which side is opposite to angle X? This one, AC. Clear. And the angle formed by side AC is 
angle 40 and angle 30. So here the value of angle X is equal to 40 plus 30. Why? Because the value of exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. Clear? If you this angle, then you have to do the angle X with the angle X. If you have a supplementary angle X, then you have to do the angle X with the angle X. If you have to do the angle X, then you So the value of angle X is equal to 40 plus 30, that is 70 degree. So here the value of exterior angle is equal to 70 degree. Now let's do some another question which are, which are based on exterior angle property. So here your exterior angle is angle X. And opposite side is PQ and opposite angles are P and angle Q. Okay, so angle X is equal to angle P plus angle Q. What is your angle P? 20. And what is your angle Q? That is 70. So 70 plus 20 is equal to 90. It means the value of extreme angle X is equal to 90 topic is angle sum property of triangle. Clear? So what is the angle sum property of triangle? Suppose you have one triangle X, Y, Z. Clear? So here you have three angles. Angle X, angle Y and angle Z. According to the angle sum property of triangle, the sum of all angles are equal to 180 degree. So it means angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z is was to 180 degree. Okay? Aapka jo triangle hai, wo kaisa bhi ho, angles ka sum humesha 180 degree hi hoga. So how you can use angle sum property for solving some questions? Let's check it here. So, suppose you have one triangle P, Q, R. Clear? And you know the value of angle P is 60 degree. Angle R is equal to 50 degree. And you want to identify what is the value of angle Q? So suppose the value of angle Q is equal to X. Clear? And you already know the sum of all the angles. All the interior angles of triangles equals to 180 degree. So angle B plus angle R plus angle Q is equals to 180 degree. Why 180 degree? Because according to the angle sum property, all interior angles, sum of all interior angles are equal to 180 degree. So angle P is equal to 60, angle R is equal to 50, and angle Q plus angle Q is equal to X, and that is 180 degree. 50 plus 60 is equal to 110, plus X is equal to 180. Now X is equal to 180 minus 110. Here 110 is positive, when you should put in another side, it becomes negative. Now x is equal to 7. Clear? So by using this property you can identify any interior angle. Clear? If you have any angle ki value point out, you can use the angle property. So use the angle by this method, you can use the third angle to identify the Now come to the next part and that is types of triangle. So we have lots of types of triangles but in your textbook you have only two types of triangle and the first one is equilateral triangle and the second one is isosceles triangle. So what is the meaning of the equilateral triangle? A triangle which has all three sides are equal. So suppose you have a triangle and that is A, B, C. Okay. So if the measurement of AB is equal to BC and equals to CA. It means all three sides are equal. AB is equal to BC and AC also. So here all three sides are equal. It means that is your equilateral triangle. And another condition is all angles are also equal. Suppose that that is your angle number 1, 2, 3. So if you have a triangle which is equilateral triangle, it means all three angles are also equal. Clear? So we have two properties of equilateral triangle. The first one is all three sides are equal. And the second one is all three angles are also equal. So in equilateral 
triangle all angles are equal okay and we already know the sum of all angles so in a triangle is equals to 180 degree so suppose that if in this triangle all angles are x degree so x plus x plus x is equals to 180 degree clear is angle may have sare angles equal hai so suppose that ye sare angle x hai so x plus x plus x that is equals to 180 degree why 180 degree because sum of all angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degree so here we have 3x and 3x is equals to 180 degree shift 3 so it become 180 divided by 3 and that is equals to 60 okay that's why we can say that in equilateral triangles all angles are 60 degree Right angle triangle. Okay. 
कि पाइथागोरस थ्योरम जो है वो आपके सिर्फ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल के लिए एप्लीकेबल है उसके अलावा किसी भी अनदर ट्रायंगल में पाइथागोरस थ्योरम अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते ओके तो लेट डिस्कस व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल क्लियर सो इफ यू हैव एनी ट्रायंगल इन व्हिच वन एंगल इज 90 डिग्री एंगल क्लियर कोई सा भी ऐसा ट्रायंगल जिसमें एक 90 डिग्री का एंगल होता है उसे हम कहते हैं राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल ठीक सो सपोज दैट इज योर ट्रायंगल पी क्यू आर क्लियर सो दिस इज योर राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल वेयर एंगल क्यू इज 90 डिग्री क्लियर एंड नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज पाइथागोरस थ्योरम सो व्हाट इज पाइथागोरस थ्योरम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस थ्योरम वी हैव टू नो अबाउट सम पॉइंट्स एंड दैट इज the side the slant side okay the slant side which is opposite to the right angle clear jo aapke 90 degree angle ke just samne ya just opposite to side hogi use hum kahenge hypotenuse use hum kahenge hypotenuse clear and another jo do sides hai isko aap lines bhi keh sakte hain clear and ise aap base and ise aap hypotenuse bhi keh sakte आपको सिर्फ इतना याद रखना है कि 90 डिग्री एंगल की जो जो सामने वाली साइड है दैट इज योर हाइपोटेनस और अनदर टू साइड्स को आप लेग्स भी कह सकते हैं या इसे बेस और इसे हाइट भी कह सकते हैं क्लियर बट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट द अपोजिट साइड ऑफ अ राइट एंगल दैट इज योर हाइपोटेनस ठीक सो नाउ कम टू द पाइथागोरस थ्योरम अकॉर्डिंग टू द पाइथागोरस थ्योरम हाइपोटेनस स्क्वायर is equals to the sum of another two side okay so that is your height okay and second one is your base clear so according to the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equals to height square plus base square hypotenuse ko jo square hoga wo aapki height ke square और आपके बेस के स्क्वायर के सम के बराबर होगा दैट इज योर पाइथागोरस थ्योरम क्लियर सो लेट डिस्कस हाउ दिस थ्योरम वर्क विद राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल सो नाउ सपोज यू हैव वन राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल दैट इज पी क्यू आर वेयर योर एंगल क्यू इज 90 डिग्री क्लियर एंड यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ पी क्यू व्हिच इज हाइट ऑफ द ट्रायंगल दैट इज 9 एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बेस QR which is six, okay? And you have to find out the value of PR, this hypotenuse. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equals to legs square, okay? Or height square plus base square. So where your height is P2 and base is QR. So hypotenuse square is equal to another sum of another two sides square. So PQ is nine and QR is six. Clear? So nine the square of the nine is the eighty one and the square of six is six is the thirty six. Clear? Now add eighty one with thirty six. Six plus one seven. And eight plus three that is eleven. Clear? So here P R square is equals to one hundred seventy. जो आपका hypotenuse है, इसका square है one hundred seventy. So we can say that P R is equals to root one hundred seventy. Clear? आपके square है, इस square को अगर यहाँ से हटाएँगे तो दोनों side आपके root में चली जाएगी. Clear? So P R is equals to root 170. So the value of P R is equals to root 170. Clear? So by using the Pythagoras theorem, you can identify any missing side also. Clear? If you have no hypotenuse, then you can use this formula to use the theorem to find out. If you have no base, then you can use the hypotenuse and height to find out the base. If you have no height, then you can use the hypotenuse. और बेस की वैल्यू को पुट करके फॉर्मूले के थ्रू आप हाइट की वैल्यू फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं बट रिमेम्बर वन थिंग दिस थ्योरम इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर 
your right angle triangles clear so students that is the last topic of your chapter triangle and its properties if you have any doubt in any concept just comment it in the comment section i hope this video is helpful to all of you if you have any doubt just comment it in the comment section and if you like this video just like subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much have a nice